Despite being introduced in 2012, the Cry Precision AVS has gone uncontested for more than a decade as the heavy loadout, full-duty plate carrier of choice for elite armed professionals the world over. With the Shaw Concepts Arc Carrier V2, Shaw Concepts has introduced the first credible challenger to the AVS. Designed as a full-duty plate carrier for line infantry, the Arc V2 represents a new approach to heavy load plate carrier design. This begs the question, does the Arc V2 have what it takes to dethrone the Cry Precision AVS and become the new undisputed heavy loadout plate carrier champ for American infantry in 2023 and beyond? Stay tuned to this episode of Core Performance Insights to find out. Before we get started, we have some disclosures and format notes to share. Before the comments blow up, a quick note on format and experimental design. We have full details on both linked in the show notes below for those who are interested. Thermoregulation is the next night vision and Ice Age ecosystem integration is the genesis of this video series, so we'll start there. The ARC V2 is an excellent platform for Ice Age ecosystem integration. The body faces of the front and rear plate bags, as well as the cummerbund, are made almost entirely of loop, making it easy to add ice vents. While the ARC V2 does come with ARC shoulder pads, Ice Vents Aero and Ice Vents Classic are also an option if you are looking for load-bearing shoulder pads with ventilation. Convective thermoregulation? Check. The inner loop surface allows IMS Pro combos for internal conductive thermoregulation and hydration. The rear plate bag has full external molly fields, making IMS for external hard cell hydration and IMS Pro for internal or external cooling heating hydration a breeze. Finally, Ice Shield Plus plate carrier hand warmers, leveraging the magic of radiation, which is the third form of heat transfer, see link below for details, nestle cleanly on the exterior of the front plate bag to keep those trigger fingers happy in cold weather, even while wearing summer white gloves. After temperature and environmental conditions, nothing impacts human operator performance more than weight. This is how the ARC V2 by Shaw Concepts stacks up against the Cry Precision AVS in terms of dry weight. The ARC V2 weighs in at 39.75 ounces. The AVS weighs in at 48.35 ounces. For you switched on super nerds, we are going to take a deeper dive into the science behind weight and how it impacts human performance on mission. If this isn't your jam, feel free to skip to this timestamp. The science behind the impact of weight on human performance traces its origins to Nike co-founder and legendary University of Oregon track and field coach, Bill Bowerman. Part of the original PW era Nike, Bowerman discovered that removing just one ounce from a shoe eliminates 55 pounds of lift over the distance of one mile when calculated using the gait of a six foot tall runner. This can add up to thousands of pounds of effort over the course of one mile with the effect compounding over distances commonly encountered while wearing a plate carrier for its intended purpose. Using Bowerman's formula, we can see that the Arc V2 is 19.52% or 8.6 ounces lighter than the Cry Precision AVS. This means that the Arc V2 will save you 1,135.2 pounds of lift effort over the course of a mile. A quick note on the weight of the Arc V2. As of the recording of this video in March 2023, the Arc V2 is advertised with a weight of 36 ounces on the Shaw Concepts website. This includes plate bags, cummerbund, pontoons, pads, and straps. The weight of 39.75 ounces is from the initial weighing of the Arc V2 here in our office, right out of the box. We reached out to Shaw Concepts for comment on the discrepancy between our 39.75 ounce reading and the 36 ounce weight on their website. They weighed the Arc V2 again and got a weight of 42 ounces in plastic wrapping. To be thorough, we weighed our Arc V2 a second time to check our work and got a dry weight of 39.6 ounces. But at this point, it had already been submerged for our wet weight testing. If we take the average of our two measurements and Shaw Concepts updated measurement, we get an average weight of 40.45 ounces but we're going to stick with our original out-of-the-box weight of 39.75 ounces for this video since that is the true, quote, brand new in-box measurement. 
The Arc Placard V3 with 3 magazine RAM elastic insert weighs an additional 7.25 ounces. This brings the total integrated weight of the Arc V2 with Arc Placard V3 to 47 ounces. In the show notes below, you'll find a link to our plate carrier weight calculator, part of our Insights blog found on coreperformance.com. It contains weight data for all of the carriers in this plate carrier review series, including the Arc V2, along with weight data on armor, plate pouches, and more. It is a fantastic tool for education, purchasing, or even operational planning. You definitely want to check it out using the link below. An underappreciated technical consideration in modern play carrier selection, wet weight has a massive negative impact on human performance. Whether rain, salt water, or sweat, moisture is a constant presence in the field. In our testing, the wet weight of the ARC V2 tipped the scales at 60.70 ounces with the plate bags, cummerbund, pontoons, pads, and straps. By comparison, the Cry Precision AVS wet weight came in at 70.95 ounces. The wet weight of the ARC V2 is 10.25 ounces or 16% lighter than the wet weight of the AVS. Using Bowerman's formula to compare wet weight, we see that the ARC V2 will save you 1,353 pounds over the course of a mile when compared to using an AVS. If you haven't seen it, we have an article on the thermal regulation performance of spacer mesh in a linked article found in the show notes below. The results may surprise you. Like the AVS, the ARC V2 doesn't have hydration or conductive thermal regulation natively integrated. However, augmentation for this capability is simple. The interior loop of the ARC V2 accepts our IMS Pro combo for internally mounted conductive cooling, heating, and hydration. The outside of the rear plate bag is full molly, so running a traditional soft hydration bladder like Camelback or Source or an IMS combo for external hard cell hydration is easy. If your mission calls for the use of a pack, Shaw Concepts makes a plate carrier pack that fits an ice plate curve perfectly, but it also has an internal hydration pocket for soft bladder use. The ARC V2 shoulder pads are removable and can be replaced with Ice Fence Aero Minimalist Plate Carrier Shoulder Pads or Ice Fence Classic Heavy Loadout Plate Carrier Shoulder Pads, depending on your mission requirements and personal preferences. The ARC Cummerbund V2 is loop-lined, so it can also accommodate Ice Fence Classic ventilation pontoons. Like all plate carriers with Velcro on the outside of the front plate bag, the ARC V2 is also compatible with our Ice Shield Plus Plate Carrier Hand Warmer. Thermal transmittance is the transfer of heat through matter or the body facing section of a plate carrier plate bag. By nature, all kit insulates and traps heat. Yes, even our ice plate EXO. To optimize performance in the field, find gear with the highest possible thermal transmittance or the minimum amount of insulation. With the included pontoons, the ARC V2 has a baseline surface temperature of 77 degrees Fahrenheit. After inserting the ice plate curve directly from the freezer, what we call the ice plate inside surface temperature, the temperature shifted down to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. This is a temperature shift of 2 degrees Fahrenheit. There is a 30 degree shift in the center channel between the included pontoons. When the included pontoons are removed, the ARC V2 has a baseline surface temperature of 75 degrees Fahrenheit. With the ice plate curve inserted directly from the freezer, the temperature shifted down to between 40 and 65 degrees Fahrenheit, depending on the location. This is a shift of 10 to 30 degrees Fahrenheit, again, depending on the location where the FLIR reading was taken. The larger the thermal transmittance number, the more efficient the plate carrier is at expelling heat from your body carrier interface. If you'd like to see how the Shaw Concepts ARC V2 stacks up against other plate carriers, click the link in the show notes below so that you can see the full data tables. The ARC V2 is constructed from a variety of materials including plastic first spear tubes, metal rings, spacer mesh, with closed cell foam, first spear soft loop, regular loop, shot cord tigris, and one wrap. The ARC V2 is loaded with unique features, integrated cable routing and PTT retention, interface first spear 612 soft loop for pad mounting, and first spear quick release tubes which can be attached to the ARC placard. It also has a unique spider system on the plate bags which allows some flexibility in what shape and size armor plates you run in your plate bag, as well as a tight fit. The included pontoons feature a bottom retention flap that goes directly into the aperture of the plate bag for a smooth rounded edge. The ARC Cumberbund V2 is structural, so it can be adopted to most plate carriers on the market, including our Ice Plate XO. 
The list of attachment mechanisms for the ARC Carrier V2 includes Velcro and first spear loop, first spear tubes, Molly, shock cord, G-hooks, and swift clips. The sizing menu for the ARC V2 is short and sweet, small, medium, or large, extra large. Colors include Multicam, Coyote, Ranger Green, Black, Wolf Gray, Multicam Arid, Multicam Tropic, and M81 Woodland. The ARC V2 has 6 inches overall cummerbund adjustment and 6 inches of shoulder adjustment. When it comes to plate bags, the small medium size fits small and medium sappy plates, while the large extra large fits large and extra large sappy plates. The ARC V2 is 100% made in the USA from US materials. Price. This is another area where the ARC V2 gives the Cry Precision AVS some serious competition. The ARC V2, complete with ARC Cummerbund V2, comes in at $500. Adding the Arc Placard V3 tacks on another $55, and the RAM Elastic Insert adds yet another $30 for a total of $585. So there you have it. The Arc V2 is technically lighter, retains less moisture, has better thermal transmittance, and is more affordable. Does it take the crown from the AVS? Let us know what you think in the comments below, and until next time, stay frosty.